two charges under Section 17 of the Theft Act 1968 for false accounting have been brought against Elliot Morley MP. Three charges under Section 17 of the Theft Act 1968 for false accounting have been brought against David Chater MP. Six charges under Section 17 of the Theft Act 1968 for false accounting have been brought against Paul White, known as Lord Hanningfield. Two charges under Section 17 of the Theft Act 1968 for false accounting have been brought against Jim Devine MP. Well, I'm, I'm absolutely distraught and I'm astonished at the decision that's been taken today. Shocked in February, an early reminder this year is not going to be one to look forward to. Three Labour MPs and a Tory peer are appearing in court, charged with dishonestly claiming expenses later. Director of Public Prosecutions Keir Starmer announced the charges earlier last month. In four cases, we have concluded that there is sufficient evidence to bring criminal charges and that it is in the public interest to charge the individuals concerned. Labour's Elliot Morley is charged on two counts for dishonestly claiming on mortgage expenses on a house twice, once when the mortgage had already been paid off. Taking in the fresh air, and so he might, Lord Hanningfield and the other three face up to seven years in prison if found guilty. He's resigned his Tory front bench seat, claiming he'll defend himself vigorously. He faces six charges for claiming overnight accommodation in London when he was actually at home. Uh, well, I'm not commenting. I will just repeat, I have always spent a lot more than I've claimed by many tens of thousands. Mr Speaker, before coming to the bill itself and, and the issue of the increase in powers it proposes, I want to say a few words more generally about local democracy and the power and role of scrutiny. He may not like the scrutiny that he's under right now, but Labour MP David Chater will be before the courts today. He's accused of dishonestly claiming nearly £2,000 for computer services using false invoices, dishonestly claiming nearly £13,000 for renting a London property when in fact he owned it, and thirdly, dishonestly claiming over £5,000 for renting a property in Lancashire, which was owned by his mother. He's previously apologised unreservedly for an unforgivable error. And of course, devastated and distraught Labour man Jim Devine, charged on two counts of fraud, accused of falsely claiming over £3,000 for cleaning services and over £5,000 for stationery using false invoices. He refutes the charges. I'm devastated by the news. I, I knew that, I had, that from where I was sitting, I had no case to answer with allegations that have been made. There are now new allegations. Clearly, I need to go and investigate them. But I think they should have been dealt with in the first instance, instance with the House of Commons. Mr Chater's wife described his claims as a stupid mistake. Stupid, yes, but it will be up to the courts to decide if it was a mistake.